Greetings, Odoers. Businesses big and small need documents to function. But if you're still relying on paper for all of your contracts and files, you're needlessly increasing your costs. Going paperless will save you money. Buying paper, printers, and ink costs a lot over time. Storing file cabinets wastes valuable real estate, especially if you're in a city. And most importantly, employees' productivity decreases when they're searching for misplaced documents or scanning records. That's why Stealthy Wood decided to go paperless. Thanks to the Documents app, our employees can remotely access files in one location. Everything happens in the same place, from communicating with coworkers to approval processes. We always have up-to-date records. No more printing, scanning, storing, and searching. So let's see how your company can save time and money by going paperless, just like Stealthy would. All right, so here I am on my database. Now let's first open the documents application, of course. Now the app is structured around two key concepts, workspaces and tags. Now you can consider workspaces as departments of your company and each department manages its own documents. And note that documents can be any type of file, very convenient. So you'll see that I have different workspaces on the left. I have my internal workspace, finance, marketing, HR. All right, so I can go through and view all of those um, documents in each workspace, or I can just view all documents for all workspaces simply by clicking on all. All right, but I think it's clearer to do it this way. Now, in, inside of each workspace, you can use tags to add another level of differentiation between your documents. And tags are organized by category. So here um, we have the category status, and then I have the tag to validate um, and validated that I can apply to any document from this workspace. Uh, so such as invoices, for example. All right, um, so let's go ahead and click here, or we'll click on this one to validate. All right, I'm gonna add the tag validated, and then I can even remove that first tag to validate since it is now validated, just like that. All right, so um, different tags will show that the files um, have changed and you'll just be able to stay really um, nicely organized. And then I can also view just the files with those specific tags. So if I just wanna look at those that are validated, I'll click here and I'll see that. All right, so it's super simple. Now to preview your documents, you can do that um, right here from the app. So you don't have to download the document in order to see it. So I can either click on the thumbnail here or on the right side as well. All right, and then on the right, um, we will also be able to manage different things with this sidebar. So you saw where I could add and remove tags, of course, but we have some other options as well. Um, so the first one here is the chatter. So if I click on this, I will be able to send a message to everyone who is following this document. I can log a note and I can even schedule activities. And we'll be able to see who's following the document here if I click on the little person and I can follow it myself by clicking on follow. All right, so I can communicate easily with my colleagues this way. To remove it, I'll just click on the X. All right, some other options that we have. We can, of course, download this file. Um, we can also share this file, and I can even share it with someone who is outside of my workspace or my company. Um, so they don't even need to log in, actually, to see this file. I can share it with whoever I need to share it with. All right, we also have a replace option. So we can quickly update files while keeping, um, while keeping all of the tags and previous versions of the document can easily be retrieved as well. And that will be shown at the bottom of the sidebar. So I haven't replaced this file, so we don't see anything there, um, but we will be able to easily retrieve those. All right, you also have a lock option and you should note that um, activating this won't actually lock lock the file because other people can still work on it, but it serves as a warning um, to your colleagues to let them know that you are working on it and that they shouldn't. All right, and we see that little lock icon there just like that. Cool, so we can also split files as well if there are several pages to your files. And we can archive the file as well. So if I archive, don't worry, I can always access it again, even though it's removed from this view by going to filters, archived. All right, and then when I click on this, I will have the option to either unarchive this file or to just completely delete it. But in this case, I'm going to unarchive it. We need to remove this filter. All right, and then we're gonna go back to the document. 
Okay, so you have a lot of options, a lot of things that you can do, and you also have some other fields as well which you can modify. Um, of course, you can modify the name, you can even add a contact, so maybe this is the person um, or company that the file relates to. Okay, and you can also select an owner of the file. So by default, the owner is going to be whoever uploaded the file. Um, so here I'm using demo data, and so the Odoo bot um, uploaded these files for me, uh, but I can change the owner easily. So I'm gonna say, okay, I'm gonna be the one who is owning this. And you can also change the workspace as well. Um, so you have that option here, and again, you have your tags which I showed you how you can add um, and remove earlier. Now you can also select multiple files at once, which is really useful because then you can um, edit the files by batch. So I'm gonna click on control and select my files. All right, and then for example, I can change the owner. So I wanna be the owner of all of these files so I can edit that by batch. I can even change the workspace. Uh, so that is just a convenient tool and you'll notice. So hold on, I'm gonna quickly switch the owner here. You'll notice that if there are multiple values, all right, and then I want to edit those files, we're gonna see multiple values. Rather than just here we have the workspace where all of these files are in the same workspace, we just see that it's finance. Um, but if I'm owning all of these files, we'll see that I'm the only owner. All right, so that's just a nice little additional tool as well. All right, now in each workspace, you can also have different automated actions for a document. So here we have some actions, ask for validation or move to inbox. And I do talk about that in another video. So be sure you check it out. But for now, we are going to create a new workspace. So I'm going to go to configuration, workspaces. And by default, Odoo will set up a series of ready to use workspaces, as you can see here. Uh, but I'm gonna create a new one simply by clicking on the create button. And I'm gonna call this design. And I'm also gonna select a parent workspace as well, which will be marketing in this case. Um, and this will be nice because it will just uh, reflect the actual structure of Stealthy Wood. And you should note that all of the tags from the parent workspace will apply to the sub workspace automatically, but you can set specific tags that are just for the sub workspace as well. So that's what I'm gonna do. And all I have to do is add a line here. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and call this status. Okay, and Stealthy Woods design team classifies the files it creates according to four types. So we have um, in progress, draft, um, let's say final, and published. Okay, now the tags order is essential because that is the order that they will appear uh, in the app. Okay, so what I see here, it will be in this order um, when I'm on the dashboard, but you can easily rearrange that here by clicking on the arrows and dragging and dropping. All right, it's super simple. So if you have um, a bunch of tags, you can just go ahead and add them and then you can rearrange them later. And then I can even delete a tag just by clicking on this little bin icon as well. And I can also use the tooltip which is really cool so that when I hover over the tag with my mouse, it will give information about the tags and perhaps when to use them. Um, so I can add that tooltip here, all right? And then I'm gonna go ahead and save this, all right? I have those tags for my subcategory and then I see them there, so it's really nice. And you can also see all of the tags that you have if you want to just um, quickly modify some um, for any workspace or create new ones. So I'm gonna go to configuration tags and here are all of my tags. Okay, so I have my workspace, I have my category. All right, and you'll notice that there could be multiple categories for the same workspace. And then I have all of the tags that belong to that category and that workspace. Okay, so it's super uh, easy to manage this. And we can also modify our workspaces as well. So for example, we can modify the access rights. So I'm gonna go back to configuration, workspaces. Let's select the one that I created, click on edit, and then I'm going to go to access rights. Okay, so here I have a write groups and I have read groups. Now a group of users with write access will be able to add, edit, and remove files and a group of users with read access will only be able to view them. All right, so then we can select our groups. 
here and we can save. So I'm just going to leave it the way it is for now. But be sure to check out our documentation about access rights and you can find the link in this video's description. Cool. So of course, the Documents app, it allows you to do so many other things. But don't worry, I'm going to show you that in the next video. So be sure you check it out. Thank you for watching this one. And if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.